You know, I've never met anybody who didn't crave love and mercy and grace and acceptance. Because we all know there's freedom that comes from that. That's what I see when I see Matthew 121. She will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. You know, two of the most beloved stories uh, that we tell is the story of Sleeping Beauty and the story of Beauty and the Beast. Because those stories, that, that, those stories are love for a reason. They're love because we all feel at times that we're beastly and we need to be loved by that beautiful person. We all feel that we're under curse as Sleeping Beauty was and we need the prince to come along and break the curse in our lives. Uh, so those stories connect that with that feeling that we're trapped at times, all of us, if we're really honest with ourselves, we're trapped in our own uh, beastliness and ugliness and flaws. And we need to be, we need someone who will look beyond our condition and love us anyway. May you have that today. May you have what the Blessed Mother heard and embraced, which is that Jesus will save his people from their sins. Our beautiful Jesus. The Bible tells us that although there was no beauty that we should desire him, it was talking about physically, there was so much beauty in who he was and his grace and his mercy and his willingness to come from heaven to earth to break the curse and to break the ugliness and the sin that is in all of our lives. Our beautiful Jesus came to reclaim you and call you his people.